Good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am back again to bring you another general reading, okay? All signs, please tap in, take it as it resonates. Um, earth, air, water, fire, take what's for you, leave what's not. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. So, I'm excited to tap into this message because I was shuffling my deck over and over and over, right? And these cards just kept, like, coming out. And I was going to put the deck back together and shuffle again, but something said, no, read off of these two cards, right? This card says, on Sunday. And this card says, habits, okay? And then, this card came out, mistakes. And then the weight card came out. And then following that card, we had the irreplaceable card. So from that message, I am pulling off on Sunday, right? Someone is going to, someone's going to take something I'm hearing like to an altar. Like someone's gonna take like habits, mistakes. They're gonna take it to the altar. That's why it says on Sunday. So someone is about to bear their sin on the altar because on Sunday this person is like in a church right and they're going to the altar and they're taking their habits they're taking their mistakes their dishonesty So it's like they're repenting. They're asking God for forgiveness. And this is all going to happen on a Sunday. Today is Saturday. Okay, September 30th. So somebody is about to make a huge change, okay, in their life. Okay, they want to be forgiven for dishonesty right because they want someone who they feel is irreplaceable they want to make a change for someone and they know in order to do that they have to give up a certain lifestyle to be in this person's energy right and spirit is telling you to do it Okay, whoever you are, Spirit is telling you to go for it. I got within four years. On a Saturday. Within four years on a Saturday. What about four years on a Saturday, Spirit? Four years? <laughs> Let me stop. Everything in divine time, and I know I know it. But four years, what? What's going to happen in four years? Oh, okay. For the last past four years, like, they've been spending time reflecting. Okay. And being away from who they really want to be with, you know, it kind of caused some type of awakening within this person. And they, they gained a lot of clarity, okay? It's like they're being brought out of the darkness into the light. That's what's happening here. 
So it's saying within four years, you know, it's like for the last past four years, this person has been in a place mentally and spiritually that they know they aren't happy in. And like, it's funny that it says on a Saturday, that's today, on a Saturday, this is it. They had enough, okay? Four years was long enough to reflect on everything they're not happy about, everything they want to change. And four years is also a long time to be in that state of mind, okay? This person might have been feeling like tiredness and weakness and they think it's coming from work. It's like, no, you are spiritually dimming your light, okay? You're not following in the path that you're supposed to be on, you know? You do have the right to choose which way you want to go, but... You know when the way you're going is not for you, okay? It just, things won't work out. Things won't happen the way it would if you were really on your right path. You know what I mean? But this person has now come to the realization that they have to face these demons, okay? In order to reach what it is that they want out of life for themselves and love okay they have to make some changes so right now your person this person may be living in a lot of regret okay but on sunday you understand this person is going to decide to make that change And whoever you are, Spirit is telling you to wait. Okay? Wait. Take your time. Like, hit the pause button. That's how you wait. You pause. You don't rush in. You don't run away. Okay? Peace be still. You understand? You have to understand that this is a spiritual journey for your person. Just like it's a spiritual journey for yourself. It's a spiritual journey for your person also. Right. Your person may wake up early in the morning. And just like lay in their bed and just dwell on things. Just reflect on things. How they feel unappreciated. Okay, they don't feel appreciated where they are right now. Spirit says they're certainly not happy. Their heart is not happy. Even if they try to make it seem that way, it's not. Right. There was a third party coming between this relationship. And your person might have thought that they were making a healthy decision going and that traveling in that energy but that's why they feel the way they feel because their spirit is like i am not settling with this i am not this is not what my heart wants this is not what my soul wants nope so i'm going to make you as miserable as possible okay until you set me free From me, your soul. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your soul is like sending you note. Note to self. Okay? Your heart will let you know when it's not happy. It's like, yo, this is not what I want. This is not how I want to live anymore. Your heart will let you know. Okay? People ignore it all the time because they don't want... They don't want to see the truth. And it, okay within a week to two weeks time okay something is going to take place 
All right. Because something took a total of 10 years. Okay, something took a total of 10 years. But in two weeks time, okay, a week to two weeks, it could be on a sunny day at midnight around sunset, afternoon, it could be any time, any time of day, okay? And it will be on a Friday within this week or two weeks. Okay, something's going to take place. And the card's like, look, someone's going to admit that they've been unworthy. Okay, someone's going to, oh, these are the ones that fell. Someone's going to admit that they've been unworthy. Okay. Someone's going to build up the courage to tell you that we need to talk, okay? We need to have a little sit down, and I need to tell you some things, okay? But understand, this is going to be after this person, okay, commits to this change and this church. Or whatever spiritual place this is. But it's a spiritual place where this person likes repent. They repent of their sins. And they want a fresh start. Right? And they want to walk on a more spiritual side of things. Because they met someone that they feel is irreplaceable. Right? Compared to whoever the third party is. They feel that they met someone who is unreplaceable. Irreplaceable, I'm sorry. Even if you and this person is attached right now. If it take up to six months, you know, they have every plan on coming back in your picture. Because I feel like what's going to happen is... This person's going to try to come back in. But when they try to come back in, I don't feel like you're going to allow it to be easy. I feel like you're going to make this person work to earn your attention, love, and affection. Okay, because now you know your worth. This is why this person feels unworthy. Because they now realize your worth. And seeing you value yourself. Okay. Okay. So even though you are apart right now, within a week to two weeks, if it takes this person up to six months, like they are going to come back and they are coming in full force because they have their heart set on what it is they want. Right. And there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of gossip. All right. Going on behind your back. Even if you are unaware of everything that's going on behind the scene. Understand you are a part of conversations. I was going to say a part of the conversation. No, you're a part of conversations with an S. Meaning there's more than one person. More than two people. Who have your name in their conversations. You're being talked about. And you don't even know it. That's clear. Oh, that's funny. I just heard somebody say, that's funny. If she was talking about herself and didn't even know it. <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> oh, man. On a Tuesday. Okay, on a Tuesday. Um, Somebody's going to... Feelings, your, their feelings are going to shift. There's a shift that's going to take place after what happens on the Sunday. Okay. There's a shift that's going to take place. Okay, and now this person feels like they have hope that they've made this shift, that they can come back and, and mend this connection. Okay, the person is really trying to have hope because they think this, this is a love story. 
Okay, on August, like they could have been on some real BS, right, in August, in the month of August. They have so much regret. In the month of August on a Tuesday, okay, that's why we have that on a Tuesday. Right. Wow. So, let's see. I'm hearing your person could have met someone new in August. Spirit say your person gets around. <laughs> wow, Spirit. It's like your person gets around. But despite of all that, your person feels like truly and honestly that you are their destiny. Okay? And they were living in their shadow side. And we all know the shadow side is the darker side of self. You know, where the bad thoughts come in, the habits, the addictions, the lies. You know, that's your shadow side. Okay, and now your person no longer wants to walk in darkness. They want to be in the light. They want to be wherever you are. <laughs> just, they want to be wherever she is. Okay, she, he, they want to be wherever you are. This person is changing for you. This person is making the changes for you. You triggered the change. Barry just said that because you triggered the change for them. They feel like this connection is destined. Right. They want to have a conversation. They want to have a conversation with you. And if they were running from you, now look what's going to happen. Now they're going to be chasing you. <laughs> You're going to be like, what's wrong with you? Like, you wasn't chasing me before. Why are you chasing me now? person's going to be like, I'm in love with you. Even if they don't come out and say it, you're going to see it when they look at you. Right? They miss your presence. They, they can't take not having you there. In November, something significant can take place in the month of November. And that's right around the corner. That's right, that's right around the corner. So somebody is going through a lot of changes, okay? Within a year to 18 months, there could be a commitment between you two. I mean, a strong commitment where you two are committed to each other like committed committed like marriage commitment <laughs> right yeah within a year to two years time like because the chemistry between you two is like it's powerful okay in october in october you can decide to time that knot within that year to two years time but you may end up marrying this person in the month of October. Mark the calendar. I hope y'all be taking down these dates when I give them out because I want you to come back and say, you spot on. You were right. I'm telling y'all. I know. I know my shit. When I connect, I connect. The connection is real. Okay? They did not want me to use my gifts. How dare y'all take away such a blessing for the world. You know, people like people like me. Not everybody, you know, and that's okay, you're entitled. But there are people that like people that do what I do. Because I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm led by spirit to give the message, and that's what I do. Okay? Your person was keeping a lot of secrets from you. 
but that's all about to change right now they they're even daydreaming of you I hear baby face and nobody knows it but me. I hear baby face. <laughs> That's what they're saying. You know, I can think I can daydream about you all day long. And then don't nobody know but me. Ha. <laughs> they feel like they're getting over by doing this. Like, ah. Uh, you know, I'm with you in spirit. Right. They hate that they sabotage. Your relationship, your connection, they know they did. They know they neglected you in some way, shape, or form. They feel guilty. Okay. Right. And then November and then December, like they could have made some strong commitment to some to take on some real heavy responsibilities. Okay. Just left you all out, like, you know. Like you weren't nothing to be thought of. On Monday, on a Wednesday. On a Monday or a Wednesday, something took place. And it was before noon time. Whatever happened. On a Monday or Wednesday, something took place around noontime. I understand when those dates and those days come out, that those are significant to you because those are dates and days of things taking place that you didn't know about. Right. They made a decision. They were trying to make a decision about something. Okay? They were up early. You know, the thoughts were taking up most of their morning on this Wednesday, this Monday or Wednesday. Whatever this was they were thinking about. They were thinking about it strong. Right. They were thinking strong about coming back into unity with you. Because they feel like they have unfinished business with you. And this winter time on a cloudy day could be a rainy day. Yeah. And winter on a cloudy day or a rainy day. What's going to happen? Okay, we know on a Wednesday, a Monday or a Wednesday, you know, they decided that they wanted togetherness with you. So in winter time, on a cloudy or rainy day, I mean, what's gonna happen? What, what, what's gonna happen? Oh, they're gonna confess. Oh, so in the winter time, Spirit, are you gonna clarify? Like, I think Spirit already helped clarify that. Didn't it say November? No, it says on, on October, right, November, right, in the winter time, <laughs> see, see, in the winter time, right, November, that's the winter time, you know, this person is going to come back and be like, look, I know I sabotaged this whole thing, right, but can we sit down and really talk about it, because I want to start over again. All right, I swear to you, I'm I'm not the same person. Okay, who I was before is not who I am now. Okay, spirit, spirit is like no, <laughs> don't leave it right there. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. So you want to know what's going to happen after this person comes back and show up, say, oh, let's have a conversation. It's like, nope, spirit says, stop. Leave it right there. They'll know when they show up. (laughs) 
I can't tell you the story, you know, I can't give you your, come on now, but you see where this is going, okay, and you love this person too, that's the honest truth, you love this person too, though you may be upset, though you may be detached, you really have an honest love for this person. So, Spirit said to leave the message there, okay? Let your heart decide. Follow your heart. And you'll know whether this is going to be a happy ever after. <laughs> you know. Know yourself. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep the comments positive, please. This is a positive channel. And until next time, stay blessed. And have a wonderful day. Later.